Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Fathom Aquatics and today I've been seeing a lot of controversy on Facebook about the effectiveness and what exactly uh, this stuff right here does. So this is Pyrogen by Seachem. I love it. It's great. And uh, let's get into it. Alright, so uh, don't make fun of my drawing. I made this in Microsoft Paint really quickly to try to be a visual aid to get what I want a little bit more understood. So it's just a very basic uh, tank with a sump system underneath of it. You can see here we've got mechanical filtration, biological filtration, and chemical filtration along with a uh, return pump that goes back into the tank and then it overflows back into the sump. It's very simple how that works and I'm going to leave it like that. So the first thing that I want to talk about with Pyrogen is I'm seeing on Facebook and a lot of beginner groups specifically that people are afraid that Pyrogen is dangerous for their tanks, it's dangerous for their cycle, and that it's going to uh, consume all of the all of the ammonia and nitrite, nitrate, all that. They think it's going to consume every single bit of it and that their bacteria isn't going to have anything to eat and that their bacteria is going to starve out and that is just completely not true. Here's Seachem's official website and kind of a description of what Pyrogen is supposed to do. Uh, some of the highlights right here is that whenever your fish has uh, waste or any uneaten food in your aquarium, that is going to be organic matter and that is what Pyrogen is going to be absorbing and taking out of the water column. So it's going to take that organic matter and absorb it before it has a chance to become something like ammonia or nitrite or nitrate that's going to be toxic and harmful to your fish over time. Now we're going to scroll down here to this highlighted part, and this is very important. Using Pyrogen will not, however, starve out beneficial bacteria colonies. For one thing, organic waste will be utilized or absorbed by whatever encounters it first. Now that's huge. Whatever encounters it first. If it encounters a bacteria colony first, it will enter the nitrogen cycle and be unavailable to use by the Pyrogen. However, if it encounters the Pyrogen first, it'll be removed from the water and will not enter the nitrogen cycle. So the reason why that is important is because your chemical filtration goes behind your biological filtration. And I'll get back to the graphic for that. Alright, so we're back at my amazing drawing I did. So your water is going to be in your tank and it's going to overflow down the pipe. And first it's going to hit a uh, filter sock here. That'll be the first point of mechanical filtration. Sometimes people don't use filter socks. Uh, they'll have a uh, filter floss or uh, some kind of fine filter pad or something like that. And then we'll have a uh, coarse and uh, medium filter pads and this is all part of your mechanical filtration so this is going to be removing any of the debris any kind of uh, uneaten food or poop any of that it's going to basically make the water more clear so there's no particulates or less particulates uh, to clog up your mechanical media and that gets us to the next point where the water is going to overflow here and then here it's going to get into your biological area now this is where you're going to have any of your biomedia. So I have a couple examples. Um, that's uh, Biohome Ultimate. Here's um, Fluval BioFX. And then Sika Matrix. These are some of the three most popular ones. There's also Eheim's uh, Substrat Pro, I believe. Uh, there's a ton. Um, they, they all work to an extent. Some work better than others. I like to use a combination of all of them. I uh, can't really go too wrong with that. But all of this biomedia has, it's, it's made to have a huge amount of surface area. And the more surface area, the more beneficial bacteria can grow. And that's just, that's the whole bread and butter. That is why it's there. That's how it works. So the organic matter that is left over in the water is going to pass through this biological chamber of your filter or your sump. And it's going to make contact with all of this beneficial bacteria. That bacteria is going to be hungry and it's going to start consuming all of that organic matter and it's going to remove that organic matter from the water column and re start replacing it with uh, things like nitrite nitrates and that's going to be you know the nitrogen cycle is going to be occurring here it'll be occurring everywhere but it'll be occurring mostly in this area and so as the water is uh, passing through here as much of the organic matter that the bacteria can process will be processed and anything that is left over 
is an excess organic matter and that'll move over um, into your next section it's going to be your chemical filtration and this is where you're going to have your pyrogen and this is where you'll have uh, carbon if you have it if, you, if that's what you're doing and the whole point of this is that whatever organic matter is not consumed by your beneficial bacteria already can have a chance to be taken out of the equation before it can turn into ammonia or you know any of the other toxic chemicals that will occur in your tank you know if you have the space for it you can throw another pyrogen in there and so with with this system here the the water starts out here and it's all dirty and then it's going to overflow and most of the debris will get caught right up here in your filter socks anything left over will be caught up in your sponges it'll overflow and then here's your hungry hungry beneficial bacteria it's going to take that organic matter and start start converting it during the nitrogen cycle but it can't get all of it your bacteria can only grow for as much of the organic matter as you have and the more organic matter you have is going to equate to more ammonia more nitrite more nitrates so the best way to lower that is to start using um, your chemical filtration to your advantage so organic matter that's not um, used by your beneficial bacteria right away is going to overflow and it's going to get um, processed here by your pyrogen like Seacom said on their website the organic waste will be utilized or absorbed by whatever it encounters first. So it will be encountering your beneficial bacteria first. Your bacteria is going to eat as much as it can. And your pyrogen is only going to get the leftovers, essentially. You cannot starve out the pyrogen, if, especially if the pyrogen is after the biological filtration where it belongs. So even if pyrogen was placed before the biological filtration, there's some organic matter that the pyrogen can't access like some pure ammonia will come from your tank and pyrogen will not be able to handle that however your beneficial bacteria can so your pyrogen cannot completely starve out your biological media your beneficial bacteria that's housed in your biomedia it can only consume so much of the organic matter so there will be excess and that excess will hopefully be taken out of the water column by um any kind of chemical filtration in this instance uh, we're talking about pyrogen the less organic matter that circulates through the system will equate to less ammonia less toxic chemicals circulating through your system which means that you can go longer in between water changes uh, it'll just be uh, cleaner water let's uh let's try something real quick so an easy way for me to kind of explain how this is going to work is that each time the water passes through a different part of filtration we're gonna lose uh, some organic material so we're gonna start with this 100 up here on the top of the screen and this 100 represents 100 pieces of organic material in the water so it's gonna be you know all the gross stuff like your fish poop and stuff like that so we start off with 100 pieces just to make it easy a nice even number it's gonna overflow and then it's gonna come into your mechanical filtration and you can see right here, we're going to lose uh, minus 20 uh, pieces of organic material. So instead of having 100 pieces, we're now going to only have 80 pieces. So we're just going to put this back up here. And we have 80 pieces of organic material. And that 20 pieces that we lost is going to be caught in your filter floss, your filter socks, and any of the, uh, the sponges and um, material like that. So now we have 80 pieces. It's gonna work its way into your biological filtration. And here we can see we're gonna lose uh, 30 more pieces of that organic matter. So we're gonna go from 80 to 50. So let's take the 80 off the screen. And now we're down to 50 pieces of organic matter. Since the beneficial bacteria was able to uh, consume a lot of this organic material, we were able to lose 30 of the organic materials however we still have 50 left now in a situation where we don't have any of uh, pyrogen any carbon any kind of chemical filtration you see I put uh, minus 15 for every um, you know pouch or container of pyrogen that we use so if we have none in here our 50 
pieces here. It's going to overflow. It'll overflow again. And that's it. This is the end of the 50 and it's going to go into your pump. It'll shoot back up and this 50 is going to be the amount of material that is going to be pumped back into your system. So it is good that we reduced our, um, our amount of organics in the water from 100 to 50. Now I'm not saying your sump is going to completely cut the organic the organics in half every single cycle. However, you know, this, this is just a generalization uh, to try to get an understanding for people that don't get it. So if we follow the same system again, where we had um, 50 uh, pieces of organic material in our biological filtration, but now we have a couple uh, containers or a couple pouches of purigen and that they're uh, minus 15 each, so that's going to take us down to uh, 20. So in instead of uh, 50, we're going to have negative uh, 15. It's going to be um, 35. And then negative 15 again. It's going to take us down to 20 pieces of organic material. And that's going to go into your pump. And it's going to shoot up. And then now you can see here, when purigen is in the system, we're going to be returning 20 parts of organic material into the tank instead of uh, the 50 that we would have without it. So the main idea here of your filter is that you're taking the total amount of organics in a tank and you're lowering it with your nitrogen cycle. And while that is good, you can further reduce the amount of organics that are circulated through your system by using something like Purigen or Chemi Pure Blue that are going to take those organics and not allow them to become uh, ammonia or any other kind of uh, toxic chemical in your tank. And so that's going to be less toxic water and it's going to be less of a, a bio load on your beneficial bacteria. It's going to be uh, easier for your beneficial bacteria to uh, perform. So I hope this can help some people better understand what Purigen does and have a better understanding of whether or not it is a good fit for their aquarium. It takes time to put this kind of thing together. So if you like this video and you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing and hitting the like button so YouTube knows to send more fish videos your way. If you have any questions, please leave them below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.